Happy Sunday, happy new week to you out there. Oh, we welcome you to our daily faith broadcast coming to you from Glory Impact Christian Center. My name is Oluwabu Sola Afolayo. Yesterday we started on the series on the fight of faith. You know, one of the messages that has blessed me, preached by my husband, is um, the message tied to the fighting spirit. The fighting spirit. Yeah. <laughs> the fighting spirit, you know. And one of the things that you need to possess to fight the fight of faith is for you to possess a fighting spirit. A can do spirit, a spirit that never gives up. Oh, Without wasting much of our time, let us just go into the second part of that message this evening as I welcome Dr. Busi Afolayo. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. What a mighty God we serve. We thank God for this new week. Thank God for this day. It is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. We will be going into the Word of God as we continue in our faith series. And we're looking at the subject, the fight of faith. Hallelujah. The fight of faith. Now, we are seeing yesterday, talking about this fight of faith, that the Bible says, as a Christian, you need to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on that which Christ have accomplished for you through his death and his resurrection. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We looked at in Christ's scriptures, some of in Christ scriptures yesterday, Hallelujah. things that Christ have done for you as a result of his death and sacrifice and for you when you come into Christ. And that these things have been accomplished, but you will need your faith to possess them. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. And we concluded yesterday looking at Abraham mm -hmm. and we saw that Abraham was able to access what God has said because he stood firm in the place of faith. And that for those of us that would do what Abraham did, we are the children of Abraham. I want you to read for us again, Pastor B, Galatians chapter 3, verses 6 to 9. Galatians chapter 3, verses 6 to 9. Even as Abraham believed God and was mm. accounted to it for righteousness. Mm. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, mm. the same are the children of Abraham. Mm. And the scripture, for say that God will justify the healing through faith, mm. preach before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, mm. In thee shall all nations be blessed. Mm. So then, they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. They which be of faith, they are the ones that are blessed with faithful Abraham. Now, we want to move on and look at some examples of men who fought the fight of faith. Amen. Who stood on the word of God to, until what God has promised came to pass. And we will start by looking at a man in scriptures, a righteous king by the name of Ezekiah. And I want us to read that uh, from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 36. Now that event is also recorded in 1 Kings 18. Yeah, but for the purpose of our study today, I want us to look at Isaiah because I prefer uh, the way Isaiah, yeah, the Isaiah, Isaiah re re recorded it. So I want you to read for us, Pastor B, from Isaiah 30, I mean 36, from verse 4. And Rabshakeh said unto them, mm. Say ye now to Ezekiah, mm. Thus says the great king, the king of Assyria, mm. What confidence is this wherein thou trust? Mm. I say, Seeth thou, but they are but vain words. Mm. I have counseled and strength for war. Mm. Now on whom dost thou trust mm. that thou rebellest against me? Mm. Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, mm. whereon if a man lean, it will go into his head and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. The mm. seven. But if thou say to me, we trust in the Lord our God, is it not he whose high places and whose altars Ezekiah has taken away and said to Judah and to Jerusalem, 
Mm. She shall worship before this altar, verse mm. 8. Now therefore give pledges, I pray thee, to my master, the king of Assyria. Yeah. And I will give thee 2,000 horses, if thou be able on thy part to set riders upon me. I think let's, let's, let's stop there. I want you to look with me specifically into verse 4. Remember when we were we started teaching on faith, one of the things we did was to define faith. And we saw that faith is a confidence. And in Isaiah 36 verse 4, this time, you know, the, the, the historical background was that Assyria have destroyed the northern kingdom of Israel. And that was the plan of God. But when Assyria saw the way it was easy for them to destroy the northern kingdom, they decided to attack Judah. But that wasn't the plan of God. In northern Israel, I've gone away from the Lord, and that was 722 BC, and God had said to them, if you break my covenant, you refuse to honor me, the land is going to throw you out. And that was what happened. But now, Assyria felt, if I have done that to the northern kingdom, I can do the same to the southern kingdom. And according to history, by 701 BC, they went and attacked, you know, 46 cities of Judah. But now, Jerusalem was still standing strong, and they wanted to take over Jerusalem. In fact, historically, that was when uh, Ezekiah, you know, dug uh, an aqueduct that passed, you know, a subterranean aqueduct that brought water from the Gion Springs into Jerusalem during that siege. And for people that go to Jerusalem, you know, one of the places you ask for to be seen, you know, to, to see is the aqueduct of Ezekiah. Is it is in Jerusalem today? Right, it's an underground uh, water drain and system that he built. Now, he then sends the head of his military with a massive army to surround Jerusalem. And then the man, Rav Shake, began to speak in the Jews' language and said to them, Thus says the great king, the king of Assyria, What confidence is this wherein you trust? That is, if faith is confidence, like we have defined, you know, uh, two months ago, then he say, where did you get this faith from? Because at this time, Assyria was the only superpower in that region. Assyria has taken away the northern kingdom of Israel. Assyria has subdued all the other nations. And now, Assyria wanted to take this small nation and Ezekiah refused to back down. So the king of Assyria was surprised. Where did you get this confidence from? Because he was not expecting them to have that kind of confidence. With all the vast army. And listen to me. We said faith is a fight. Why? Because there are times the enemy will come against you like a mighty flaw. I want my foot to be intimidated. Exactly. At this point, they were meant to be intimidated. Maybe you receive a letter from office, you have a medical report on your hands, you have a financial you know, report on your hands, you have an issue in your family or whatever, and the enemy wants to intimidate you. And then Rajaki said, where did you get this confidence from? Where did you get this faith from? That with all these that are brought against you. against you, you refuse to back down. Ezekiah was holding on to the word of God. And this was his fight of faith. There are people listening to me today. That you're going through your own fight of faith right now. Are you going to back down? Are you going to be like Ezekiah, mm. who refused to back down? Mm. Now, he brought all this military, mm. 
And then he said, well, where did you get this confidence from? That in spite of all these, you are still strong? In spite of all these, you are still holding on to God? In fact, he went ahead and said, give pledges to my master. Just surrender. surrender. And that's what the enemy is saying to some people right now. Just surrender. surrender. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, he said, don't say, well, don't let Ezekiah make you trust in God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't say we we'll trust in the Lord God. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Don't bring God into this matter. I, I don't know who is listening to me today. Are you going through that situation? And then the enemy will say, don't think God is going to bring you out of this. But let's see. You know, when Rabshake was talking to them, you know, the Bible says that Rabshake in verse 13, I want you to read verse 13. Then Rabshake stood and cried with a loud mm. voice in reduced language mm. and said, mm. Hear ye the words of the great king, the king of Assyria. Mm. Thus says the king, Let not Ezekiah deceive you, mm. for he shall not be able to deliver you. Mm. Neither let Ezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, mm. The Lord will surely deliver us. Mm. This city shall not be delivered into the hand of the king of Assyria. Hallelujah. Hark not to Ezekiah, for thus said the king of Assyria, Make an agreement mm. with me by a present, mm. and come out to me, and eat ye every one of his vine, mm. and every one of his fig tree, mm. and drink ye every one the waters of his own cistern, mm. until I come mm. and take you away to a land like your own land, like your own land, like like your own land. Yeah. a land of corn and wine. A land of bread and vine, yes. Hallelujah. Beware, lest Ezekiah persuade you, saying, The Lord will deliver us. As any of the gods of the nations delivered his land out of the hand of the king of Assyria, where are the gods of Abbas and Hafan? Where are the gods of Shephrabim? And mm. have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? Who are they among all the gods of this land that have delivered their land out of my hand, that the Lord should deliver Jerusalem out of my hand? Mm. But they held their peace mm. and answered him not a word. Mm. For the king's commandment was saying, answer him not. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now we saw the way this man boasted. He said, what about the kings of all the lands? Have their God been able to deliver them out of my hand? Don't let Ezekiah make you trust in the Lord. And that is the way the enemy works. Don't let him make you trust in the Lord. Now, this was his own fight. I don't know what your fight may be today. Because I, I want to bring out this, Pastor B, because sometimes... When people are going through their fight of faith, they think that when the enemy comes, you just speak a word and that is it. No, it's putting pressure. <laughs> and situations are speaking, glaring at you in the face. Hallelujah! Of Glory be to God. Yeah. And that is what I want you to know. You will see Ezekiah say, don't answer him anyone. In other words, don't spoil my faith. Don't use the wrong negative confession. Mm. Don't spoil my faith mm. concerning this matter. Mm. Just listen to what he wants to say. Mm. But go with me to chapter 37. Chapter 37, I want you to read for us from verse 1, Pastor B. And it came to pass, when King Ezekiah heard it, that he rent his clothes mm. and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. Mm. And he said, Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shebna the scribe and the elders of the priest covered with sackcloth unto mm. Isaiah, mm. the prophet, the son of Amos. Mm. And he said unto him, Thus said Ezekiah, This is a day of trouble mm. and of rebuke and of blasphemy, for mm. the children are come to birth and there is no strength to bring forth. It may be the Lord thy God will hear the words of Rabshakeh, whom the king of Assyria is master and sent to reprove the living God, and will reprove the word which the Lord thy God has heard. Wherefore, lift up thy prayer for the remnant that is left. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, he was fighting the final faith. Mm. And the king of Assyria recognized that this is a final faith. Because he started by saying, where did you get this confidence from? Mm. 
that in spite of all this, the king of Assyria, Sadon, had already taken 46 cities out of Judah. He has surrounded Jerusalem with the largest military expedition in that region at that time. And this man said, look, I've destroyed all the other nations. Mm. Where are the gods of the other nations? Mm. Mm. And you know, you need to understand the worldview of pagans. Mm. In the pagan worldview, whatever will happen as in, in the war is to them it is a god fighting another the god. Yeah. Right. It's so god. it's the war of the gods. That is the pagan worldview. So to him, his own God have defeated all the other gods. Even the God of the northern kingdom of Israel have been defeated. So don't let Ezekiah make you trust in God. This was a fight of faith. What did he do? During that fight, he sent a message to Isaiah, the prophet of God. And what did he tell Isaiah? Pray. Hallelujah. So while you are fighting the fight of faith, mm. prayer is involved. Mm. Hallelujah. He was praying. Mm. Now, so it is not just all confession. Mm. Mm. It is not just all reading the word. Mm. He, was, he was fighting the fight of faith, but at the same time, mm. he was praying. Mm. Now, he sent a message to Isaiah. Pray. That is, join me in prayer as I release my faith, believing God Hallelujah. for a turnaround in this situation. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. You know, Pastor B, there are times I've had to agree with people in prayer while they are releasing their faith. Because what will get the job done is your faith. But I would need to agree. That was why when Jesus took the disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane, it was a fight of faith. And what did he do? He said, you tarry here, Peter, James, and John, and pray with me while I go yonder to pray. Matthew 26 from verse 36. I go yonder to pray, but you stay here and pray with me. Not you go yonder to pray while I stay here. Mm. Hallelujah. Because it was is a fight of his own faith, mm. not the faith of the disciples. Mm. His own faith. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, not only that. Now, I want you to read with me, Pastor B. Go to verse 14. Verse 14. Read from verse 14 and read verse 14 and 15. And Ezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers mm. and read it. And Ezekiah went up unto the house of the Lord mm -hmm. and spread it before the Lord. Mm. And Ezekiah prayed unto the Lord, saying, Hallelujah. Now look at this. Fight of faith is going on. Isaiah was praying along with him. Now he didn't just sit there and say, Oh God, you know. I'm standing on your word. Oh God, well, I don't know why you're allowing this to happen to me. The Bible says, he too went to the house of God to pray. The fight of faith was still on. The fight of faith was still on. What gave him the confidence? We have said faith is confidence. Where did he get the confidence from? From the word of God. Hallelujah. And he believed what God said. Hallelujah. Because Isaiah had given the prophecy that the city would not be taken. Not be taken yeah. So he was standing on what God said. And based on that, it would not be moved. Based on that, it would not be shaken. Mm -hmm. So Isaiah was praying. He too was praying. I want you to look briefly with me into the content of his prayer. Now, read verse uh, 16 to 20. Lord, uh, hallelujah. O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that mm. dwelt between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heaven and earth. 
Incline thy ear, O Lord, and hear. Open thy eyes, O Lord, and see. And hear all the words of Sennacherib, which has sent to reproach the living God. In verse 18. Mm. Of a truth, Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their countries, and have cast their gods into the fire. For there were no gods, but the works of men's hands, wood and stone, therefore they have destroyed them. Verse 20. Now, therefore, O Lord our God, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord, even thou only. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, look at this. He didn't just send Isaiah to pray. He too went to pray. So, when we look at faith, fight of faith, to obtain what Christ has already done for you, it is an active fight. Active fight. It is not a passive thing. It is not you sitting down in one place and just expecting, you know, with a wave of hand that things will happen. Mm. And you know, this is a big challenge with many believers. Mm. When the enemy comes to challenge our faith, a lot of people just sit down there and say, God, you know, I pay my tithe. I give my offering. I've been serving you. Why are you allowing this to happen to me? Remember, Ezekiah was a righteous God, a righteous king. He was a king that loved the Lord, that served the Lord, that moved the nation towards God. But Ezekiah knew that this was a fight for his faith. Now, historians, Bible historians made us to know that during this time, Ezekiah repaired the walls of Jerusalem. Mm. He carried out a massive wall reconstruction yeah. to defend Jerusalem. Mm. And archaeologists found some of the remnants of that wall recently. I was watching a documentary where those walls built by Ezekiah was found. So when we are talking about the fight of faith, it is an active fight. Mm, active fight. It's not a passive fight. It's not you sitting down in one place and folding hands. So we saw that he was spiritually praying. Isaiah was praying. Physically, he was building the walls of Jerusalem. He was sending representatives to engage. You know, the, the people that as uh, the king of Assyria said, he was actually engaged in an active fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be sick in your body right now hearing me. You don't have to sit down there and say, well, let me wait. I just know that I will just sleep one day and I will wake up and then all will be over. I will be, I will be healed. No, it doesn't work that way. As you are applying your faith and confessing the word, you are praying. You are decreeing. You are rising up. You are taking steps of faith. You are keeping your mind on the word. You are sowing the seed of the word in your heart. Remember, we did four sessions of planting the word of faith. So you are planting the word. You are making the confession. You are reading the word. You are praying. You connect with prayer partners to join you in prayer. And the things also that you can do physically, like the case of Ezekiah, you are also doing it physically so that all will work together to see that your faith works. And at the end of the day, what happened? A blast was heard. And overnight, 185,000 soldiers died. The king of Assyria ran back to his land. And while he was worshipping in the house of his God, two of his sons killed him. And that was it. He was disgraced. So, at the end of the day, faith will triumph. Faith will triumph. If you don't give up, Faith will triumph. If you don't give up, faith will triumph. If you don't give up, faith will triumph. Hallelujah. Faith will triumph. Faith will triumph. You know, there are times I've had, you know, uh, 
I've shared here before. I've had, need, you know, I've had challenging health. I didn't just sit down and say, well, Lord, you know I'm your servant. So, no. As I'm praying, I'm confessing, I'm taking steps. I, I'm, you know, whatever I can do, I'm doing that. Because it is an active fight. So the fight of faith is an active fight. After listening to this message tonight, I don't want you to go sit down passively, waiting. And this is a challenge because people are waiting for somebody who will just speak a word and all their problem will be over. Now, Isaiah prophesied, but Isaiah didn't sit down. I said, oh, the prophecy had come that the city will not be taken. He did not sit down. He was praying. Mm. Isaiah was praying. He was negotiating. Mm. He was building the wall. Mm. He was standing on the wall. Mm. He was doing all actively. Actively. Mm. Knowing that faith will win at the end of the day. Hallelujah. What are you actively doing? What are you actively doing to bring the word of God to pass concerning your life? What are you actively getting yourself involved in? And my prayer is that the almighty God will stir up your spirit to rise up to the fight of faith. Remember, whatever the enemy throws at you, it is to stir up that fight in you. Mm. Don't give up. Mm. Don't give in. Mm. Faith Hallelujah. is a fight. Amen. And the Bible says it is a good fight. Hallelujah. We saw the case of Abraham yesterday. Hallelujah. He engaged in that fight Hallelujah. for 24 years. Hallelujah. No wonder he was called the father of faith. For 24 years, Hallelujah. he engaged in that fight. Mm. He did not shake. He kept confessing. His faith was not shaking. He kept believing God. Oh, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Pastor B, can you just give us a closing remark? Our time is up. You know, I, I, I believe that that spirit, that fighting spirit, needs to return to believers. You know, many of us have been passive when it comes to our faith. Listen to me. I'm going to be sharing this with you tomorrow. The devil won't just go because you are a Christian. Mm -hmm. The devil won't just leave you alone. That sickness won't just leave your body because you pay tight. No, no, no. You need to actively engage in a fight of faith. And the Bible says it's a good fight. Can you give us a closing remark? You know. I, I don't know whether as you are watching us, us now, you are in some situations and circumstances that the voice of those situations that are louder, they are mm. so loud. They are so loud. They are so loud because the enemy wants to create fear on the inside. Mm. The same way the voice of Goliath was booming. Mm. And all the men of war, they were carrying in fear and cowardice. Mm. You know, that is what the enemy wants to achieve. Mm. And that is why the situation is speaking so loud. Mm. So that an atmosphere of fear can be created. Mm. So that the enemy can prevail over you. Mm. But you don't have to allow that. Hallelujah. Let the voice of faith higher than the voice of the enemy. Glory let be the to voice God. of faith drown the voice of fear. Amen. Let the voice of faith, let it silence the voice of the enemy. Amen. And I tell you, victory is yours. Amen. Triumph is yours in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And you know what? You are going to share your testimony with Amen. us. Amen. To the glory of the name of the Father Hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us Hallelujah. today. Um, let me just acknowledge uh, uh, Bishop Alexander Mazu from Abidjan. God bless you, my Bishop. Hallelujah. Pastor Naimeka from Cam um, uh, Port Harcourt. God bless you. Kevin Lee uh, from Malaysia. God bless you. Uh, Sister Molade Ayeni Oloe from the U.S. God bless you. Pastor Sheikh Molade. Pastor Sheba Jaibra, Michael Menzurike, and several other people that are joining us. Remember this faith is a fight and is an active fight. You don't keep quiet because faith will triumph 
at last. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Join us tomorrow, same time, as we continue our teachings on faith. And please send your testimonies and share this on your pages. Amen. Also, do not forget, this will be on my YouTube page, Dr. B.C. Afolayo. So you can go to my YouTube channel and listen to this. And also, you can go to my website or my apps. You are going to get all these messages there. Hallelujah. God bless you God bless and you. see you tomorrow. Amen. Amen.